to me, color is like musical notes, and I, I can hear them, and, and I always hear them. For me, my fascination with typography and lettering goes back to the first time I realized that one of the first uh, activities that men did was to record their thoughts and feelings on cave walls. These marks that they made on the walls, in a way, were kind of magical. There's a direct line that goes from that time to now, and uh, except that I feel like some of that magic has been lost. When I first started uh, working in the design world, the predominant way of designing was Swiss design, a lot of Helvetica, everything lined up with a grid. Uh, and I felt that this was very stiff and what I really wanted to go for was, in a word, was freedom. I felt I was almost forced to start doing my own letter forms, which uh, in turn always went back to everything that I had experienced uh, and stored away when I was a kid. When I was eight years old, my dad, who was a writer, decided to do a wonderful thing for the two of us, and he wrote a story called Two Boys on a Dinosaur. The story was about my brother Peter and I flying uh, around in our spaceship. We land in the Gobi Desert. What do you know but that we find a dinosaur egg? And what happens afterwards is all kinds of complications ensue, and it's all very fantastic and wonderful. Reading this book as an adult, I realized that my dad really got who I was. Uh, he understood my introverted nature and how I would fixate on things. In the 50s, I was surrounded by all kinds of incredible visual stimuli, whether it was the side of the good humor truck or a billboard that I would see on Times Square. I would just tend to focus in on these things and somehow absorb them. I was uh, fascinated with the stars, with astronomy, with, with outer space, the way I use certain shapes like circles which appear to dominate a lot of my work, which uh, is completely on a subconscious level, but I think it has a lot to do with my striving for some sort of mathematical perfection in the work. This is what I call a mechanical, which is really um, color separations. It's how I used to prepare my artwork for printing. Uh, before the advent of the computer. Uh, there are uh, copious notes, most of which refer to color. Here we see um, Pantone chips that I've put for reference for the engraver, and I've also noted uh, process color. Then hinged from uh, four different sides of this uh, mechanical are these uh, vellum overlays that uh, on which I've done my inking. Each overlay is registered to each other overlay with these three register marks. Now I'll just lift these uh, so you can see how I've hinged them from north, east, west, and south. And finally reaching the, uh, the bottom, which is uh, just a texture over which all the artwork um, exists. 
I've had to uh, make sure that uh, in my inking that every place where a color butts up against another color uh, is perfectly aligned. So again, this process was extremely time consuming. A mechanical like this could have taken me anywhere from 20 to 40 hours of uh, labor to do. My job is to solve another person's problem. What do they want to communicate? How do they want to appear to the world? And can I do that and still be true to my own vision? That's the, the complicated uh, aspect of what I do. I might start out with a very simple idea or concept, but somehow, in some way, a lot of these designs take on a life of their own. And they almost, they almost direct me to do certain things. And as a result, a lot of my pieces have gotten to be pretty complicated pieces. Most people are very familiar with the first cover I did for Kiss for Rock and Roll Over. They had no idea what they wanted it to be. You know, I just asked a lot of questions about what they wanted to communicate. And when I finally came up with it, it was not anything like they would have imagined, but they loved it. And I always end up surprising my clients with things, that, and I do enjoy that, especially when that surprise uh, turns into approval. <laughs> My mission that I feel is to try to put back some of that fascination, some of that fantastic qualities into letter forms and allow them to speak, not just as um, consonants or, or vowels, but in a way almost like ancient pictograms where they're telling a story and it's not just the story that the letters spell out. When I get fan mail and they may say something that lets me understand that they really get what I was trying to do, that's worth more than the paycheck I get for doing that job. Saul, my art teacher, told me my parents had come to him. They wanted me to, to go to law school. <laughs> and, and he convinced them that's not where my talents lied. That if I tried, I would get into Cooper Union, which would be free. And of course, that sold them. Uh, he was responsible for what I eventually became.